with Pokemon Unite basically having infinite access to all like a thousand Pokemons in the game, it's really crazy that you know who can actually get into the game with Pokemon Unite and with the leaks and everything that's dropped, if y'all haven't noticed that it was a leak a long, long time ago from like Pokemon Unite Philippines. If it's affiliated or not, affiliated or not with the actual Pokemon Unite, I do not know. I don't think anyone knows, but they leaked back, you know, all the Pokemon that's recently been dropping in the game, which were Decidueye, Blaziken, Galate, Dragonite, Wobbuffet, and Serena, all being potentially confirmed for the game. And basically three of those Pokemon have dropped legit back to back for the game so it's really astonishing that you know there's a leak like that out and that's like could be could basically can be conceived as a not even a leak anymore that it's actually just true because all the pokemons have dropped but i wanted to go about myself today and actually come up with some concepts with basically my pokemon that's on that list right now currently which is one of my favorite pokemon which is galay and i wanted to come up with a concept for it today man so look man if you like the video, you already know what to do. Leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Hey, I like, I really think this concept video is going to be really, really nice. But, hey, without further ado, let's get into the video. Before I start the video, I just want to thank and shout out Poke Knight for making the concept for me. Because, you know, people are just so kind in the world just to go out their way and just do things for you. And, you know, he did this for me, like, free of charge and, like, everything, bro. So, I just want to shout out and thank Poke Knight, man. You know what I'm saying? I really, really appreciate you, bro. Galay, you know, the blade Pokemon, you know, the white and green Pokemon that evolved from Corellia with a Dawnstone and Sinnoh. Yeah, that's who we doing today. That's who the concept for today. And being the blade Pokemon, you know, Galay is a Pokemon of high sportsmanship, high character, you know, you know, being a very classy Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? He's... He would fit perfectly in the Unite game, you know what I'm saying? And his concept for this is just amazing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just excited that we got this, you know? So, yeah. Gallade, Psychic, Psychic Fighting type, dual typing, you know what I'm saying? A really, 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 really cool Pokemon. Very strong, actually, in the game, too. He's really strong, actually. Not OP, but he's really strong in the game, too. You know what I'm saying? When he was introduced in Gen 4, he was astonishing in the animes you know he was cutting things jumping in the air he's fast strong you know literally the definition of like a new pokemon would be him perfectly into the game perfectly but when we go through his moves you know his basic attack would be you know you know the user slash the enemy dealing damage on the third strike basically having his third strike be a boosted auto and I think it should also crit in a way, low key. Not a huge crit percentage, but make it a slight crit. Because he's really, you know, when he, when you think about Galay, I think of him more of a crit Pokemon in a way. You know, being access to all different types of crit moves. And he's just starting. So I think he'd be really, really crit based. He'd be one of the crit physical attackers, similar to Absol in a way, where you can start running some crit moves. Because he doesn't have the highest. I don't think he'd have the highest defense ability or anything. You know, he'd be really, really offensive based. So that'd be really, that'd be really nice. His ability would be justified. You know, every time the user is attacked, it gains a justified stack, maxing up to five stacks, increasing Galate's attack stat and also his basic attack speed for a short amount of time. And basically you can stack it up to a maximum of five time. And I think the cooldown after it would be after like a couple seconds, it'll go away if you don't like hit nothing after a couple seconds, but you can basically stack it off of anything, Pokemons, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. So it would be really, really astonishing. That if you can if you can stack it off of like wild Pokemon, say you are jungling, for example, and then you get hit by like a Stantler, I don't think, you know, you would get a justified stack off that. And basically you just keep getting hit and you just would get the stacks. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think that'd be really good. So because if you don't know what justified is in the actual Pokemon games, the actual justified ability is if you get hit by a dark type move, it raises your attack stat and in competitive play if you seen vgc i think justified arcanine was a thing and people used to run like arcanine were like i think Wismatot. i don't remember exactly what pokemon it was but they used to run a beat up strategy where you used to give arcan used to beat up get five stacks of beat up onto the arcanine and you have like a plus five arcanine going crazy so i, I was that was a, a cool strat back in old vgc days they don't run it no more but back in old vgc like 15 14 days that was a really nice thing to run. But yeah, Justify would be his ability. 
uh his first move would be rock smash honestly if i didn't pick rock smash i would have put drain punch instead drain punch is a really really cool move but honestly i think drain pots can substitute for close combat too also seeing that lucario has close combat freaking um machamp has close combat if i'm not mistaken too as well so i think we can substitute that move but a rock smash would be the first move every time he punches the opponent it lowers their defenses which is really 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 cool think about just walking up and just rock smashing someone and then like using cut right after because like you're doing mad damage bro because you're just going to be lowering people's defenses it's on a long cooldown which is good so you it'll be hard to keep stacking over and over and over you have to wait for the longer cooldown so i feel like He'd be a longer cooldown pokemon which means his autos are gonna have to be like his bread and butter basically he's gonna have to be dealing a lot of damage off his just regular basic attacks but he's gonna be a really fast pokemon i think he'll be really fast and really really mobile honestly i think i think he should have one of the fastest like runs in the game make him really really mobile so like because he has to he literally has to force up to go up to people so i say make him fast because he's a fast pokemon in the games too so i say he can do that but his move upgrades from rock smash would be either Close combat slash drain punch. I would throw drain punch in there because drain punch literally he'll punch a Pokemon and he will heal up a little bit for it, like a quarter of the damage that he does. It wouldn't be too, nothing too busted, but it'll deal a certain amount of damage and then he'll start healing up from it. And yeah, I don't think the cooldown for close combat should be 10 seconds long. Now, but it's fine because you know it happens, man. But close combat would be. Where similar to Machamps and not not like a Macarios, it'd be similar to Machamps in a way. But honestly, I think his would be more of a dash kind of way. He'll like kind of dash up in a way and then close combat in a, in a, and use close combat. It'll be really really fire. You know what I'm saying? But it'll leave him. It'll leave the opponent unable to act too. So like when he's punching them, the opponent won't be able to do nothing. So it'll just be like he'll just be like beating the sleeves off of one of them. And they're like they'll be going back which would be really really cool because close combat close combat in the games of pokemon is like really really strong move and then the level 10 upgrade for it will decrease the damage taken while using the move so basically it could be like a debuff basically it'll just take away the debuff that takes from you know say you're getting damaged while getting hit by close combat the upgrade version of it would be that you take you basically would get like a, a slight increase you know a, a slight buff where you will take less damage while using the move which would be the level 10 upgrade so say you're using close combat and a center is in the grass somewhere away from you and just hitting you you would take less damage from them you know what i'm saying which would be that would be really really cool that'd be a really cool thing so literally you could be using close combat on somebody and not taking as much damage it'd be really really cool and his other move upgrade would be shadow sneak like i said i was put drain punch in one of these two also I think Drain Punch would be resolved, but Shadow Sneak, but it'll be kind of similar to Decision Wise. But instead of the Shadow actually going to get Vision, the Shadow would actually stay on Gallade and actually cover Gallade. And he'll be able to he'll get an actual like really, really good speed boost and attack speed boost. And he'll like dash forward with it. And like it'll be really, really cool. So think of it like a gap closer. It can be used as a gap closer too. It'll be more of a gap closer thing where he'll get like a slight dash an attack speed boost where he can jump on someone like really really quickly and then like close and then like either like use like one of his other abilities but he'll like do it really really quick and then like his level 10 upgrade would reduce the moves cooldown to three seconds so it'll be spammable you know what i'm saying and honestly for um uh for close combat as well i think the level 10 upgrade would also reduce the cooldown as well because 10 seconds in late game it's a long time i'll say make it like eight you know what i'm saying give it a little slight cooldown as well and it'd be really 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 cool and yeah his second move option which is cut and i'm gonna put a slash fall swipe as well i think fall swipe is a really cool move on Gallade too i've seen it used in the anime seen it running you pick it, i think you learn it naturally in the game too if i'm not mistaken it's a move similar to Gallade, but i think cut is really really nice too as well because he is the blade pokemon he does cut things he does slash things so either cut slash fall swipe would be really really cool you know so i think i think it'd be fire and, you know having something he'd be a, he'd be pokemon introducing his own moves too so it'd be really really cool but the user slashes his arm slashes the opponent it'd be similar to kind of um it'd be similar to slash from absol in a way in a way you know just a similar just a simple little cut move where it has a chance to crit also because i think galates one of the pokemon that 
is going to be a crit based Pokemon too or have high chances to crit. So I think he should uh, have a move where it can like crit kind of. I don't think his crit subsidence to be super high, but like, you know, I think he should be able to crit a little bit, does a little bit more damage than other regular Pokemons. So he'd be kind of similar to Absol in a way, but just not a speedster. He'd be more of a all arounder because he'd be offensively strong, fast, and he does he has some type of defensive stats too, you know, with the close combat buff that he gets, and you know, you know, he's just he's just really, really nice. He's just really, really nice. But his move upgrades would be Psycho Cut and Night Slash. And also I put slash false swipe because we can throw that move in as well. But Psycho Cut would be similar to like in the games towards Gen 6 in a way. Not like Gen 4, how they showed him in the games where he would slash and he would like shoot like three of them. I think it'd be cool like that where he can slash and like shoot three of them and have a chance to crit on them. Like it wouldn't be like the most like, no, make it like super, super strong. Like, you know, make like every hit a certain amount of damage. And then like the third one being the strongest and having a higher crit chance. So, it'd be really nice. It'd be really nice. But the user tears at a target with the Psychic Blaze having a high chance to crit, and then at level 12, which is, would be his upgrade, which would be Psycho Cut Plus, would increase the damage dealt by this move because it's later in the game. People are starting to get more stats. So, yeah, you would buff the damage on it, obviously. But, yeah. And the second one would be Night Slash. It'd be kind of similar to Absol's Night Slash in a way, except that. Abso, it'd be kind of similar to Abso Night Slash in a way because uh, that's just towards the enemy slashing them. The move does more damage if the Pokemon has low health and has a high chance to crit because he is kind of a crit Pokemon. And the upgrade at level 13 would be that it reduced the move, kind of move cooldown from 7 to 5 seconds, which would be freaking crazy. 5 second cooldowns is amazing. And like, I would love it. But I will also substitute False Fight for this as well. Because I think False Swipe is a really, really cool move, honestly, and especially on Gale 8. But the thing with False Swipe is that False Swipe does not kill, if I'm not mistaken. False Swipe isn't a killing move, and it's a lower damaging move, which is why I would have made it as, like, a starter move. Because False Swipe is, like, a move that not affected by, like, if you, like, like say if, like, you know, uh, Mr. Mind buff exactly. You know, like, when he, like, guard swipes or something. Say if you was to, like, False Swipe it. You wouldn't be affected by like the guard swap kind of in a way you know what i'm saying something similar to that but the thing with false swipe is that it won't actually kill the pokemon it'll get the pokemon really really low and but that would be like the only reason why i wouldn't freaking do it if you had like a froakie for example this is why i really think Frog Swipe would be cool so say like froakie substitute and you accidentally false swipe it you just automatically breaks the substitute like it'd be crazy man it'd be crazy man like for real, for real. it'd be nice but yeah, a Psycho Cut would be pretty cool because I think that'll be like his bread and butter move because Psycho Cut is literally like Gallade's move. I think they introduced that move when Gallade came out. That's like his signature move. And then like Night Slash is really, really cool because like you'll be able to dash. And then like Close Combat is like Gallade's like best move. But I would like Slash Drain Punch because Drain Punch is a really cool move too. And it's not in the game yet. But I was like, they could throw out a move. They could put a move that's not in the game yet. And, you know, and then like Galay is just like really really high offensively you know what i'm saying so i think he will fit good as an all-around to being a one stage evolutionary where he's just like there because there's no point of leveling up for ross Karelia when Galay don't use psycho don't use side shot you know what i'm saying so it'd be no point so i think he'd be a one stage evolutionary but his unite move i think would be really really cool his unite move would be similar to um it'd be kind of similar to machamps in a ways but i think his would be more i think galay's would be more of a like a, a, not a leap more of like a, a little a little a little a little front little dash a little hop in a way where he would just dash into someone or not even dash into someone because it'd be like a big thing to do but galay unite move i'm naming it unitely slash you get it at level eight but galay unleashes a large slash that has a high chance of landing critical hits and deals more damage to oppose a pokemon with low sp so basically you can be using this as a kill confirm Say if we get them all really, really low, you know, you'll be able to boom, you'll be able to just hop on them and get like a bunch of kills, like basically, and it'd be really, really cool. And it'd be similar to um, if I had to pick like something I could think about that I would want it to look like, kind of. If y'all haven't watched Sword Art Online, when Kirito uses Starter Stream, I want it to be kind of similar to that where he's just like Galay's just going and he's just like slashing everything, like he's just slashing multiple times. And he's just going in and going crazy and just trying to get kills, bro. It would look really, really cool, you know, because, like, I think, like, 
in the show like he had like moments where he was mega delay and he like jumps up and he just like goes in and slash and like i think it'll be really really cool man i think this concept for delay is really really cool before he is potentially released if he's gonna be released if not i wouldn't be surprised but it's unite you don't know who's gonna be released at the end of the day these the leaks aren't actually fully confirmed but the pokemon that are on it and the leaks being from august they're all a you know, it, it matches up with the, it matches up. So, hey man, if you like this concept video and you wanted to see more concept videos on who basically you would like to see in Unite, you know, what if Mega, Medic, what if Galate was in Pokemon Unite, man, do me a favor, man, leave a like, drop a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, man, I'd really appreciate it, man. See y'all, man.